In this combustion reaction, we have C3H4 plus O2, and that gives us CO2 plus H2O. Let's count the atoms up so we can balance the equation. We have three carbons, four hydrogens, and two oxygens. Over on the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and then we have two oxygens, plus we have this one oxygen right here. So we have a total of three oxygen atoms. Let's fix our carbons first. We have three on the reactant side, one on the product. So we'll put a three in front of the CO2. So one times three, that'll give us three carbons. And then this three applies to the whole CO2 molecule here. So we have two times three, six, plus the one. So we have a total of seven now. We might as well go ahead and try to balance the hydrogens next. That might end up giving us an even number of oxygens. That could help us out. So we could put a 2 in front of the H2O, and then we'd have 2 times 2. That would give us 4 hydrogens. We'll need to update our oxygens. So we have our 2 times 3, 6 oxygens, plus the 1 times the 2. It gives us 8 oxygens. This is good because now that this is even, when we multiply 2 by something, that'll give us 8. And 2 times 4, that gives us 8. So the coefficient in front of the O2 will be 4. And at this point, this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C3H4 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.